Next demo is going to talk about how to uh, create your hologram in um, Final Cut. So first thing we're going to do, File, New, and you're going to use Event. We're going to create a new event called this hologram. You can do all your hologram stuff in that event. I'm just going to create a new project with it and hit OK. All right, so I'm going to go down here. Where is it at? Hologram. Double click on my project. And you could title that if you want Vader Hologram. All right, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to bring in my video. It's a short video, so I'm going to drop it in just directly into the timeline. And then I'm going to zoom in using this little function over here. Um, and I'm just going to slide that around until I get how I want this to look. Okay, that looks good. So. And see what that looks like when it plays. Perfect. Okay. It's all I need. Just that little clip is going to be fine. All right. What I'm going to do from here is I need to shrink it down and I need to maybe crop it a little bit. Okay. So to do that, I'm going to go to my transform tool. All right. And I'm just going to go ahead and shrink this. Whoops. Grab something not the thing that I wanted. You should grab one of those corners and then I'm going to shrink it down. I'm going to place them here. I'm making them pretty small. Okay. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to option click and duplicate upwards. Okay, and then I'm going to move him. I'm going to rotate him. And his the bottom of Darth Vader, the bottom of your image is always towards the inside. So we're making like a circle pattern of these. Okay, so I'm just using that little ball to rotate. Now, if you have an issue where this edge of the black is getting in the way, you can switch your tool to crop and then go ahead and just move that in a little bit. And that hopefully shouldn't become a problem um, for anybody. But if it does, that's what you're going to do is move that in. All right, hit done. Next thing, I'm going to duplicate that one upward. Okay. And I'm going to move it over. Oh, there it is. Okay. Move that Darth Vader over using, sorry, my transform tool. And I'm going to move it over and I'm going to rotate that one so it's upside down. I'm going to hold down shift to snap it so it's perfectly straight. Again, the bottom is always towards the middle. And then option click and drag one last time. And now I'm taking that one, moving it over. And I'm rotating it and I'm holding down shift. Okay. Now this one's pretty much ready to go. Okay. You can mess with the scale or if something's like not right. You can always change this up. So I'm going to go file, share, master file. I'm going to go to my settings. I'm going to change it, make sure that my video codec is H264. I'm going to hit next and I'm going to tell it where to go. So beta hologram, I'm going to call this final one. Hit save. It should take like, you know, not long. You'll see it up here. It'll pop up when it's done. Okay, so now we have this quadruple image of Vader. So when we play, he does the same thing on all those things. And then it just plays through. Okay, next step. Now we want to get this thing. And I'm actually going to duplicate it. So I'm going to hold down option. I'm going to right click. And I'm going to duplicate it. And then I'm going to change the name of it. So it's not going to be one. It's going to be two. And now we're going to go and we're going to put this on our Google Drive. So I'm going to go to Google. We'll make sure that we log in here and get it into Drive. What I would recommend doing is creating a folder for yourself for your holograms. So I have one already made. Here you go, holograms. All right, and I have some imagery from earlier. But I'm going to go ahead and take both Vader Hologram 1 and Vader Hologram 2 and drop it up into Drive. Okay. From here, what you're going to do is actually get your iPad, get into Drive. You're going to download those two, and you're going to save them to your photos. Okay. From there, what you want to do is actually put them in an album in on your iPad. Okay. That album, you're going to drop them both in there, and then what you're going to do, is, and, and I'll probably have a demo for this as well. But what you're going to do is once you have those both in there, you're going to retitle that folder as just blank spaces, and then when you go in there, you're going to create a slideshow, and the slideshow is going to have a specific setup. And what happens is when you play, that'll just loop and play, and you'll be able to get that to work on your iPad.